how to develop some flexibility. of a little bit of the lips changing, but more of the uh, back in the oral cavity, that is, with uh, using the, um, the level of the tongue, it works better. You will find that this helps you to open up the high register. Um, by association, it's good to do some lip tool exercises. <laughs> the brain with new neural connections. So we have to be patient and we have to allow these changes to develop over days and weeks and even months. The next exercise that I do is more for just general flexibility and getting around the horn, really like boost of air. Um, it's essentially where you hold you know, uh, all your fingers down and then you go up the chromatic series or I guess the, har the harmonic series and in the process you get all the different notes on the way. So instead of doing it really slow, you go quick. Now we're going to talk a little bit about slurs, specifically the Irons uh, book. And th there's a lot of reasons that you would want to work on a slow slur. Um, but one, that, one reason that we often overlook is so our ear can have a lot of time to hear the slur and, 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 and so we can learn to let our ear take over and control the slurs as we're doing them. Uh, the Schlocksburg book is really great. It uh, has a lot of fantastic drills that uh, span. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do is keep the sound very smooth and keep the airstream connected throughout the exercise.